Hey guys, it's Jessica. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you guys a vlog on my surgery. This morning I'm on my way to have surgery with Dr. J Plastic Surgery. I am getting my breasts redone. I'm switching them out from saline to silicone and I'm also going to get a scarless mini lift. So I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I can't wait for you guys to see the results. I can't wait to see the results. Dr. J is an amazing doctor. I've been a fan of his work for a while. Um, about four years ago after I had Ashton, I had a consultation with him and I planned on doing my boobs with him and I can't believe that I finally made the appointment in the days here I'm gonna get my boobs done. My friend Sarah had told me about Dr. J. She found him through mutual friends. Um, I looked up his work and fell in love. He does an amazing job with breast augmentations. He just makes the boobs look so like natural and gives amazing cleavage. Um, and he's also really good at revising boobs. And for, like for me, it's not my first time breast augmentation. It's, you know, he's gonna be fixing my boobs. He's doing a mini lift. So he specializes in that and he's really, really good at it. I've seen a lot of his work and he is my favorite doctor. So I chose him and I can't wait for you guys to see the results. Let me know what you guys think. So this morning, my dad is bringing me to my appointment. Are you happy to bring me? Yes, <laughs> nice. My mom is a chicken. She is so scared of like needles and surgeries. She gets weak, so. That was out of the question. We kind of made my dad bring me. He's a lot more calm and patient. Um, but I'm really nervous for my surgery. I'm excited, but I'm very, very nervous. I haven't had a big surgery like this in a long time. I mean, the only surgery I've ever had was my first breast augmentation and my C-section, that's it. And my C-section, I wasn't put under completely. With the breast augmentation, you're completely out. Alright guys, so I'm just sitting here waiting to go into surgery. I'm so nervous, but I'm listening to this like calming music and watching this scenery thing on Croatia. On the left side, the implanted submersion Deledine and supplement biotic solution. Then it go in really good. Just push it good. Very nice and so appreciative she shared her journey because it'll allow me to show the differences between the two revision surgeries. So I'm on my way home now. I honestly don't feel like I'm in too much pain. I have a little pain like on the side of my boobs because he put like an internal bra. It's like stitching to give you an internal bra. But I'm good. I'm gonna go home, relax, convince Ashton to watch some movies with me. And I should be up and going in the next few days. Thank you to my dad for waiting and being patient. This was for health reasons. I had to do this for health reasons. I have to tell him that. So for those of you that don't know, I recently did a breast augmentation with a scarless mini lift with Dr. J Plastic Surgery in Beverly Hills. So about 10 years ago, I did my implants. Um, I had nice natural boobs. I don't know why I did them, but you know, I was young and dumb and I wanted um, to have big boobs. And at the time that was in. So I got saline implants, high profile, behind the muscle. I, I think it was like 400 and 410. Um, so recently, 10 years later, I got them switched out and he switched them from saline to silicone. I actually went a little bit smaller because saline implants are 
bigger and they're like more high profile the silicone is a little wider and doesn't protrude out as much so now i'm 405 on each silicone i got a scarless mini lift so boobies are a little plumper nicer um you know i breastfed ashton for i don't know close to like seven i think it was like seven or nine months and definitely changed up my boobs so i don't know if i'm gonna have other kids um so i figured you know let me just redo my boobs whatever the future holds then i'll deal with it then but you know right now i work out hard i want to feel good my boobs are something that i don't want to say i feel insecure with because you know i don't feel insecure it just not happy with them they were saggy they were at loose skin just ah, they were terrible you guys and you know I'm still young I work out hard I, I just want to enjoy my body while I can and you know if I do have another baby in the future and I do decide to breastfeed then it is what it is so when I got home I lay down for a little and I was so surprised I was able to pick myself up so I was able to sit up like this and I was able to grab things, lift both arms. You know, this arm's a little sore. I'm not going to lie. I can't lift it too high because he did do more work. So I am really sore. Um, but this arm I'm able to do everything with. But anyway, since my surgery, I've just felt sore. I don't feel in pain. I haven't taken my pain meds. I'm just taking, you know, the mandatory antibiotics, but no pain meds. Um, I was a little constipated, I think, because I did take this nausea medicine the first day. Louis, quiet. And I think it, like, constipated me. So I didn't use the restroom for, like, three days. Gross, I know. But, um, that was probably the only thing I was a little uncomfortable with. Other than that, everything has been great, you guys. I'm able to do a lot of things on my own. I'm not able to pull open like my heavy mirror drawers um i'm not able to open like the bottle cap of like a tightly closed water i have to have someone do that just there's like little things that i need help with i'm not able to like carry ashton or do any of that but i'm able to do a lot of things it really helps that ashton is four years old he's able to do things by himself he's able to help me and grab things and do things for me he's been by my side this entire time taking care of me it's so cute like i'm just so grateful for him he's adorable and this surgery just made me feel so grateful to like have a son like you should see he's only four and you should see how he's taking care of me he like makes sure i have water anything i need he'll do he's I saw the other day he was like in the middle of playing with his toys and just so into it. And I was like, Ashton, can you get me this? And he, you could tell he didn't, you know, he didn't want to stop playing and doing what he was doing. But he did it anyways. He's like, okay, mama, but let me get this for you. And then let me enjoy playing after. So let's talk about after my surgery. Uh, my surgery was about an hour and a half long. He took a little long because he had to work a little more on this boob. This boob used to kind of like fall off to the side more. So he had to put like an internal bra and kind of revise the nipples a little, bring it all in closer, give me more cleavage. Um, so when I woke up from my surgery, I felt sore. I didn't feel the way I did the first time I did my boobs. I The first time I did my boobs, I woke up in so much pain. It felt like I had a car sitting on my chest. My breathing was heavy. It was, it was scary. It was very painful. Um, and my recovery the first time was the worst. I was in bed for like a week. I couldn't even grab the control. I couldn't lift either arm. I was... Someone had to do everything for me. So this time around... Woke up from my surgery, felt a little sore, no pain. Um, the car ride home was not bad. So I've gotten a lot of questions as to why I switched from saline to silicone. And when I did my boobs back in the day, silicone wasn't allowed. It was not legal. Um, so, you know, I did saline. But the truth is, I really love the way silicone looks. 
it looks a lot more natural. Um, the actual like implant is wider. So it goes like wide on the chest, gives you more cleavage and it doesn't protrude out as much. Um, I'm so happy with my boobs. I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram stories or saw the surgery on Dr. J's Instagram, but so happy with it. It was painless. I'm not going to have a scar. Normally, women who do a breast lift get that like lollipop scar. And I definitely did not want that. Like, I feel, I mean, I'm not that young, but I feel like I'm just too young to have that scar. I don't want to have a huge, you know, scar going up to my nipple. So I also have to wear these compression socks um, to avoid any blood clots. And they are beyond annoying. I hope he gives me clearance to take these off on Friday because they are just like tight and uncomfortable. And I don't know. I'm ready to take them off and every time I take a bath it's a nightmare putting them back on because they're just so tight so this week I'm pretty much just laying in bed letting my body rest and heal because I know even though I feel good there's a lot of healing to be done so I'm just catching up on Netflix shows um, you know trying to be productive on my phone even I get tired of being on my phone though um, my body is exhausted so it's like I can't do too much. Um, and I've just been spending time with Ashton. Um, even though, you know, I'm recovering, he hangs out with me here in the bed. He brings his toys. We, I try to, like, play and interact with him. Um, and we've been watching a lot of movies and spending a lot of quality time together. Um, it is a little hard because he doesn't fully understand and he's, like, over me being in bed. He's used to me and him running around town doing fun things. So he's he told me, Mom, you need to get better now. We need to go somewhere fun. And he doesn't get it. But as soon as I'm feeling better, I'm going to do some fun activities with him and make up for this downtime. And also, in case you guys didn't know, my best friend Sarah Stage and I had our surgeries done the same morning. Um, she had hers done at 8 and I had mine done at 10. It's just so fun having a best friend to do things with. Not just surgeries, but just things in life with. Um, but as for, for our surgery, we planned it at the same time. That way we could have downtime at the same time. And then we can get back on our workout routine together. Since we like work out together and, you know, push each other and motivate each other. We have that, you know, we'll be on the same schedule and we can um, work together. So my stomach looks bloated because I haven't went to the restroom. And do you see my back, like the side, how swollen that is? Can you see it? This, this side isn't swollen, I thought. Jessica with me on her three-day post-op. So proud of her. Remember, this was a major breast reconstruction. It was a little bit more complicated than Sarah's, who's here with me as well. Hey. In her case, we have to do much more of a reshaping of the breast and lift on the left side. Now she has a gorgeous fullness and cleavage. There's literally no bruising. She had no bleeding. The purple is for the markings that I just removed. The nipple areola are perfectly symmetric. She has no pain. She has a beautiful curve of the breast now. I removed the capsule, all the excess scar tissue, gave her a beautiful lift. Removed the saline implant, which felt hard with extensive amount of ripples and wrinkles. Now she has a beautiful, smooth silicone implant. They already look and feel completely natural. They move beautiful, natural, three days after a major reconstruction. So if you guys have any questions regarding um, breast implants um, and pricing, you should follow Dr. J Plastic Surgery. He's so sweet and kind. He'd be happy to answer any of your questions. Pricing varies depending on your situation. So I really can't answer your questions regarding pricing because everyone's situation is so different. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, leave them down below. If you guys are new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, thanks guys.